Hello everyone, welcome to your fourth blogging tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the alternatives to AdSense because sometimes so many people encounter the problem of Google not approving their content. Google thinks you're not writing long enough. Google thinks you're not writing on point. Google thinks your your the quality of articles your articles is very very low. All right, they might not just approve you. So if they don't approve you. Uh, you have an uh, option of trying out other blogging networks or yeah, other uh, monetization uh, systems. Here we have, uh, I just Google this, we have Yahoo Big Network, we have Ad Pepper, we have Bitvertiser, we have uh, a Buy Sell Ads, we have Chitika, we have Clicksaw, we have Contera, we have InfoLens, and so on. They are just uh, unlimited all right so you just google that you just type it out in google and uh and google will show you other adsense uh alternative just just google this and then uh, you'll get a whole lot and you you can register visit their website register and create your own it's the same access adsense concept all right okay so that's settled in this tutorial we are going to look at uh, other other ways to monetize your blog. All right. Uh, the first one is of course AdSense. The next one is of course uh, uh, website ads. And uh, the next one is, of course, uh, sell something on your site. And the last one, of course, is to sell out or cash out, sell out, and then to sell your blog entirely. Your blog as a whole. I just I already explained AdSense. You get to Google, then create an account, and Google starts advertising on your site, and you share the revenue with Google. Cool. The next one is actually on your site. You could start fixing adverts, and you start permitting other companies to advertise on your site. Uh, for instance, um, if if you're into fashion, you could meet the local fa fashion shops. That hey, I have a blog. I have uh, ten thousand people reading my blogs every day. You could put your put up your adverts on my blog for. For fifteen thousand naira, fifteen k, you know, something like that. So you can sell ads on your blog. Then you create spaces and put fix the pictures on at the portions of your blog. All right. Then the next thing is, uh, apart from ads, you could sell anything. For instance, if your blog is about shoes, why not just start selling shoes on your blog? You blog about the best kind of shoes, high heel for ladies, and at the end, you're like, hi, I sell high heels too. If you needed a high heel, here are the pictures call me on my phone and buy the shoe whatever so you just sell something on your blog then the, the last one is you blog so much that uh, you have so many users then you advertise and sell your blog as a whole hand over everything to someone else all right uh, so many people uh, use this pattern but um, it just depends on your disposition at the moment all right and uh, of course it, it's it's not advisable to have so many ad, uh, advertising agencies on your blog. I mean, like having uh, Google AdSense and Bitvertiser and so on and so forth. If if you want to use Google AdSense, use Google AdSense. If you want to use Bitvertiser, use Bitvertiser. If you want to use uh, InfoLinks use info links and so on and so forth but whatever happens uh, it's not it's not advisable to keep the three uh, google might ban you google is always very strict because they are the best uh, for instance it, for a click in google you might just be getting something like uh, zero point uh, let me see three dollars but for one stuff like bitvertiser for the same click you might be getting something like uh, zero point one all right 
So Google AdSense always pays better. That's why if, if you have Google AdSense, then you're, 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 you're okay, you're good to go. Alright, so in the next tutorial, we'll continue this process. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Like and share this video.